wow nothing changed we are in 2024 and it's still the same the only thing change is just the ear i'm gonna check out dr umar johnson and two others they're gonna react to sonia massey another black american that murdered by a white police officer let's hear what these guys have to say and guys when each one of them say what they have to say i'm gonna do my follow-up right behind let's check it out guys r.i.p to sonia massey the more i think about it i don't have time to fight with no black man about no white man because black people are dying at the highest rate of anybody else. We are being murdered at higher rates. A black woman was shot in her head for picking up a pot in her kitchen. A white man looked that woman in her face and said, I will shoot you in your motherfucking face. Damn. Because she was scared. Because she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Because she felt the, she felt the devil's presence in her home. Just understand that. That lady felt the devil's presence in her home and said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And that man shot that woman in her head and killed her. I don't got time to argue with you, black man, about no 70-year-old white man. Vote for who you want to vote for. But make sure that you vote for somebody that values your life. I hope you vote for somebody that ain't going to tell you that the police got immunity when they kill you or your family member in their house. I hope you vote for somebody that has sees that your life has some level of value. That's what I hope, King. I love you. Don't be mad at me because I want to see black people thrive. You don't have to agree with me, but I'm not your enemy. Your enemy is the people that's trying to take you out. Your enemy that want is the people that want to dismiss and discredit and devalue your life. Your enemy is the people that see your death as a marketing tool. Black murder is a marketing tool. I don't have time to fight with you online. Don't come to my page arguing with me about who I decide to support. Support who you want to support. But I'm telling you this, it ain't no stimulus checks worth my life. It ain't no tax cuts, no tax breaks. It ain't no money worth my life. And if it's worth yours, then so be it. But I'm not here to fight with you, King, because I'm not your enemy. I love you, just like I love Sonia Massey. I sat in my house and cried because I watched a black woman die in her home for being scared. And we arguing over a fucking 70 year old white man online. I'm not fighting with you about who you're voting for, King. You don't never got to vote. You can vote for whoever you want to vote for. Let's love each other. Because we ain't guaranteeing tomorrow. They taking us out. They killing our babies. They killing our mothers. They killing our sisters and they killing us. So I'm not here to debate or fight with you about no white man. I'm here to make sure that we live and that we thrive. Guys, let me say this. Shout out to my, my amazing brothers and sisters in America. I don't know how you guys deal with it, but <laughs> I don't have no heart right now, but I have to salute you guys because, wow. I don't even know what to say because this thing just keep happening over and over and over again to black American people. And the thing that amazed me, guys, these people don't unite together, you know? Black Americans don't unite, you know, guys? Let me say this. And I'm going to speak. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tell you how I feel and how I think. Because I don't hold back. The only time black America, black Americans come together, not all of them, but majority of them, the only time they come together, you know, is when these kind of situations reach them, you know, when another brother or another sister get murdered innocently, you know, by a white police officer, you know, or a white person, person in general, you know, you understand me, I say, that's the only time they come together, you know, you see these small little thing that you guys stay quiet about, 
Let's for instance look at Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia came out and disrespect black people, you know. Says say him is a KKK, you know. Because that police that police officer that killed, that police, that demon that killed, that killed Massino. Sonia Massino. I hope I'm not butchering her name. Her name just slipped me just now. That demon that killed that beautiful young sister, you know. That's a KKK right there, you know. That's a KKK right there that don't like black people, you know. And you guys allow Ryan Garcia to say what he said. Call you guys, he don't like N-word, 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 and he's a KKK, and he's anti-black. And most of you celebrity sit back quiet. If I even see Wes Caliver taking picture with Ryan Garcia shortly after Ryan Garcia disrespect black people. So those little things, those little things that you guys sit back and make, make slide. But when time these, when time when you guys empower these people, because these people see how you guys act. You guys never unite on anything before. It's only when George Fly get murdered in the street or when that your beautiful sister get murdered in the street. Or the, the next sister that we, I mean, there is so much of them get murdered by a white police officer. I can't even remember them. You remember that one that in our bed sleeping? What's her name? I don't remember her name. And the boyfriend thought, thought this was some burglary outside and he fire shot and the policeman him just start fire just wildly in the in the house. You remember? What's your name again? I don't remember that nurse girl name. I'm gonna put her picture up, up on and the, the scream. Murder that young sister. She's, she's a nurse. So when you guys allow a Ryan Garcia, a Mexican, a racist Mexican, when you guys sit back and allow Ryan Garcia father to call Bill Any a nappy head N word, and you guys still supporting Ryan Garcia and come against Bill Any, your brother. You guys ride with Ryan Garcia and disrespect Devon Amy, your brother. Those little small things that you guys make slip away and you guys support. So when these big major things happen to you guys, don't come out and shed no tears. Don't shed no tears now. Shout out to that sister. And condolence to our family. But I'm just saying these things. Black American, you guys need you guys need to put your foot down. Look at look at look look at that basketball player. Kai when him? Kai Irving? I don't remember the basketball player. The guy the guy find a book on Amazon and, and share the book. And they suspend him for five games. They suspend the guy for five games just to share the book. You see the difference between black people and other people? I'm talking about black American people. You see the difference? The guy share a book and they suspend him for five games. That one that do wilding out. I don't remember those guys' name. Do wilding out. I'm going to put a picture on the screen. I'm, a, I'm not an American guy, so most of their name, you know. I, think, I don't remember his name. The one that do wild, that wild in our show. And he said something. And he have to come and apologize. And when he apologize, he have to meet with those, 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 you know, those Jews people. And he have to donate money to them. You see the difference between, I'm just showing you something. You see the difference between black people and other race of people, guys? So when this guy is bringing in politics in it, None of these two politicians can save black American. If you don't unite together, because unite with strong and divided we fall. If you guys don't unite, this thing gonna always happen to you over and over and over and over and over again. Nothing gonna change until you unite. If you don't make the change, nothing gonna change. No Democrat gonna change, gonna make no changes for you. No Republican is going to make no changes for you. Remember, I know. 
they're gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you this right now you see the democrat they're gonna use this sister killing to win the the, 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 the election just like how they use george floyd killing murder to win the, that 2000 what 20, 2000, 2020 election whatever they whenever they win that election they use george floyd death to win that election and i'm telling you right now they're gonna use this young sister death to win the election because donald trump said he's gonna give those police officer inhumity that's what donald trump said you know gonna fund them and give them inhumity what's her name when they do something like this they get a pass that's what donald trump said <laughs> And the Democrat gonna use that in their campaign. I promise you that. None of these people don't, none of these politicians can help you guys. Whether they have blackface up there, you don't see Van Jones crying over old crusty Joe Biden. The man is crying. I bet he's not gonna cry over, 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 over Massey. I bet Van Jones not gonna come out and cry over this young sister that dead, right? That, that murder by a white police officer. How much you gonna bet me say you're not gonna do that? The man is crying over a white man. The same white man that draft up the 94 crime bill to put black man in prison. That's why these sisters out here right now living by themselves single because of what Joe Biden done with that 94 crime bill. <laughs> But we are talking about voting for Democrat or Republican. Kamala Harris, she not, she's not different because she was some prosecutor in California and she'll keep people in prison longer than how they should be in prison. I am not on the outside and I know these things. Look at, look, look at this, guys. Come on, black, black American brothers and sisters raised $2.8 million in a couple hours for Kamala Harris, for the Democrat Party. And they will never come together and raise that to build a school in their community. <laughs> you see, guys? You see all these people? Slow. I don't want to talk too much because I have two more, you know, video to share with you. But it just, it just crazy, crazy. It's not gonna change. It's not gonna change. When I see that, when I when I watch that video. And see that that man said he's gonna shot shoot her in her, in her head, and he did it. The lady was into a, in a defense stage. That could be my mother. Not saying that she she old enough to be my mother. I'm just telling you she could have been my mother because that that exactly how my mother react when when a demonic force when a demonic spirit come close by her. She's speaking different language and she said the blood of Jesus against you. My mother is just like that, guys. Whenever time a demonic spirit, one time my father come in late and my mother start to rebuke my father. Not my father in rebuking, you know. But it seems like my father goes somewhere he's not supposed to be. And that's, his, that's how my mother react. So that could have been my mother. When I watch that body cam, listen to that sister taking her last breath on the ground just... <laughs> it hurt me so much. It's hurt me so much. But it's so sad. These things have to happen to black American people for them to come together and, and, and march down the street with sign. That's not going to help. Nothing going to change. Because you guys keep quiet when these small details, when these people doing these small things like Ryan Garcia. You guys stay quiet. You guys come against your brother Devon Ene when a Mexican cheat Devon Ene. The same Mexican, the same Mexican, his daddy call a black man the nappyhead. And you guys sit quiet and make those things slide and laughing, said, Oh, Ryan Garcia, not long the one, any. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see what the next person have to say, guys. Guys, so. <sighs> Sorry. Oof. It's tough. I know that. I know that this is a very unglamorous video, but um, 
I uh, just saw the video of Sonia and um, my heart goes out to her family. I am literally shaking right now because whew, to see how someone's life can be taken in such a way is so terrible and so disgusting. When is this going to stop? I'm sorry. I um, saw many people talk about influencers and how people need to um, say something. And here I am. You all know how passionate I am about my community and my people. And um, to have a young black boy who is tall, who is black, and um, I guess what I'm saying is I worry. I worry. And now I'm going to have to have another conversation with him about being careful. When is this gonna stop? When is enough enough? Guys, I can feel that sister pain, but something that always puzzles me when these things happen to black america and they always saying most people are always saying that oh can this happen oh can a human being treat another human being like that these people don't see you as no human being you don't get that in your thick scholars yet you don't get that in your thick scholars yet these people don't see you as no human being and guys most of us don't act like a human being the way how we act towards each other. No love. No respect. You respect the one that's gonna hurt, gonna done harm to you. But you want to kill the person that look like you. <laughs> oh sad. Oh sad it be. But I'm telling you guys, right now, the Democrat is smiling. Because they're gonna use this and win the election. He, the, he, the first guy said, we are dying. Black Americans, they are talking. Because it's black Americans are dying by white people. I look at this guy. Watch this. Watch this now. No? This lady inside our house have a pot of boiling water on the, on the stove. Because if I, if I in my house and I heard somebody outside breaking down my door and I don't have no gun, no weapon, the first thing I'm doing is boil a pot of hot water. Because anything pushing them head, I'm ducking that. I'm burning up that. The pot was, the pot was on the stove minding his own business. Is that demon police officer go send the lady over there to turn off the stove. And that lady went over there, because I watched the video. Went over there to turn off the stove. And to throw the water, the hot water into the sink. And when she picked up the pot to throw the hot water into the sink. Because the stove was right here and the sink was right there. So she pick up the pot of water to turn to the sink. But because of that demonic spirit that in that demonic police officer. Because from outside she was confused you know, because of that demonic spirit. You know. A lot of people are not going to understand these things. You know, but my mother is just like that lady. Whenever time some demonic spirit come against her. You know me as a spirit that she have inside of her. She does act. She just acted up, acting up. And my mother don't have no mental problem. But anytime a demonic spirit come close by, that's how my mother react. My mother plead the blood of Jesus against you. It's not literally the person or the physical person. It's just a demonic spirit that inside that person or that around that person. That man come to do some, to do some harm. Why he turn off his body camera? Why he turn it off? Because if, if he didn't, if he, if he didn't turn off his body camera, we will get a 
full view of what happened. Or you can, or you can drop, or you can, or you can shoot somebody to have a pot of water. When you can, when you can step back, you can leave the property. Why you go inside that woman's house? For what? Asking her for ID and she lived there. She lived there all by herself. But you go inside asking her for ID. For what? For what? You can't... Hey, a lot of people don't, don't pick up these things in the video. You, know? you can't see the demonic spirit was, was just, 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 was just clashing with that, that, that spirit that inside that lady. She all she look at the police officer and said, Pass my Bible. Hand me my Bible. Hand me my Bible because some demonic force is inside that house. And the demonic force take her life. But I'm glad that she plead the blood of Jesus against him before she go. Because that blood, that blood, gonna always on that white demon devil. And he will never live comfortable as long as he breath blowing him as long as he have breath in him he will never live comfortable he gonna have a nightmare for the rest of his miserable life it's crazy guys it's crazy or oh, someone can just come i mean it's not crazy because this these things happen over and over and over in america over and over and over in America. <sighs> Crazy. Crazy. Let's hear what Dr. Umar Jansen have to say, guys. Let me talk about my sister, Sonia Massey, rest in paradise. Let me talk about my sister, Sonia Massey, rest in paradise, who lost her life in Springfield, Illinois. Let me talk about my sister, Sonia Massey, who lost her life in Springfield, Illinois, shot three times in the face, shot three times in the face by white supremacy, shot three times in the face by white supremacy for doing nothing at all but holding a pot of hot water. She took that water to the ground when the police officer asked her to get rid of it. She said, I'm sorry. She said, I'm sorry, I apologize. And she dropped down with the hot bucket of water. She couldn't drop the water, she would have burned herself. She couldn't drop the water, she burned herself. She couldn't drop the water, so she stooped down with the water so as to show that she posed no security threat at all to those officers and they took her life anyway. They took her life anyway in Springfield, Illinois. Let me say this, Black America. Let me say this to my Springfield, Illinois Africans. Let me say this to my Chicago, Illinois Africans. Let me say this to the entire 50 million American African population. Don't be hijacked by the fact that the officer was fired because he was charged, because he was relieved of duty. Springfield, Illinois, listen to your brother one time. Springfield, Illinois, listen to your brother one time. Springfield, Illinois, please listen to me. The reason that officer was arrested, the reason he was charged, the reason he was discharged of his duty is because the Democratic Party cannot afford to lose the state of Illinois to the Republicans. Do y'all hear me in the back? Do y'all hear me in the back? Do y'all hear me in the front? Do y'all hear me on the side? Do y'all hear me on the right? Do y'all hear me on the left? He was only arrested and charged because the governor of Illinois is a Democrat. I'm going to say it again. He was only arrested and charged because the governor of Illinois is a Democrat. They can't afford for black people to turn their backs on the Democrats in Illinois. They already got the Brandon Johnson migrant conspiracy. They already got the Brandon Johnson migrant conspiracy popping off in Illinois. They can't afford for Springfield, Illinois to turn up like Chicago is turning up. They can't afford for Springfield, Illinois to turn up like Chicago is turning up. So don't you sit down and get comfortable because he was arrested and charged. Don't you get comfortable because that man is going to trial. All they're doing this for, 
That cop was arrested because they don't want to lose your votes. And what they're going to do is drag out his trial. They're going to drag out his trial until after Kamala Harris is elected. And after Kamala Harris is elected, they will find some way to give him his job back and drop all the charges. You know I know what I'm talking about. If you listen to these two brothers, they're bringing in politics in it. They know more than me still. But why are you talking about politician? The Democrat cannot help you and the Republican surely not going to help you. Watch this. Watch this, guys. These illegal immigrants that they flood across the border, those anti-black illegal immigrants like Ryan Garcia, because Ryan Garcia and them is the same thing, you know. All these people that pouring across the Mexican border into the United States of America, they don't like black people. If you don't, you might don't believe me, but they're worse than the white man that you think is a racist in your country. Because these people, parents teach them not to mess with black people. I'm telling you, these people that you allow to flood in your neighborhood because you are colored blind. You're always talking about black and brown. There is no such thing as black and brown. If you're black, they don't like you. Watch this, guys. Watch this, guys. There is no human being on the planet, no other race of people on the planet go through what black people go through, especially the one in America, black American people. Because we in Jamaica, we don't, we don't have to deal with these things. You understand me, I say? Because the majority of us is black. And if you even look white, they don't behave those kind of way. You have, you have, um, you have like, what you call thing, you know, like prejudice, you know, prejudice, like people that like, feel like they're richer than you and stuff like that. But we don't have no racist thing. You understand no racist thing in our country. Watch this, guys. Watch this. The first guy said they are killing us. He's damn right about that. Not only they are killing black American people, they are killing you and they are, they, are, they, they are replacing you. Watch this. Joe Biden let in, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and the whole Democrat Party let in millions of people in your, con in your country and in your community. And these same people that they let in your community and your country, these people can so be faced. You remember in New York when they kicked those NYD, NYC, where they call those police in New York? New York police. They kicked the police, the, those cops in their face, the, 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 the illegal immigrant that Joe Biden and Democrat Party and Kamala Harris put up in beautiful hotels. Give them um food stamp those check thing that they can buy food because they don't like american food and these illegal people kick those cops in their face nypd cops the nypd cops them in new york those illegal people kick those people in their face and then don't get shot they don't get shot they let them out without no charge and this lady this black lady called the police for help and she end up dead. And I see this several times. Whenever time a black American is suffering with, 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 with some kind of um with some kind of you know mental problem and they call the police, 99% of the time they're gonna end up dead. You can't say I'm lying because I watch these videos and I see these things because I follow social issue. The social this year I follow those things. 99% of the time when they call police to deal with mental ill black people they're gonna dead they're gonna lose their life and these illegal immigrants that joe biden and democrat parties and kamala harris is put it in your community to replace you they can kick police officer in the face they are they they are they even bite off a police officer finger yes these illegal immigrants bit off a police officer finger they shit in new york street they piss in new york street all kind of manner of evil i think Make a black man is doing a jaywalk across the street. I remember watching a video a black man is, a, is, a, is jaywalking across the street. Rushing to go to work and the policeman kill him dead. Shot him dead. Yes. So when these people's brothers and sisters. Under three hours raised two point and million dollar. For Kamala Harris campaign. Is the Democrat Party is the same one, you know? Don't give, don't, don't, don't pass the George Floyd Act bill, you know? 
is the Democrat Party that don't give you a, 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 a hate crime bill, you know, but they give the Asian community an Asian hate crime bill. It's the same Democrat Party that black American people raise two point odd million dollar. But Dr. Umar Johnson is trying to open a school, but they are saying that Dr. Umar Johnson is a scammer. And all those things, he's rubbing up money. I remember he is in he is in jail right now. A brother where they call he used to deal with those NF NF what they call them? Not effing around. You know those people in black suit with long gun, black people. And when you look at YouTube, every black man and black woman is saying that boy is a agent, he's a this, he's a that. And they never stop they put him behind bars. <laughs> Black American people is their is their own destruction. What I'm what I'm what, what I said just now. Black American people is their own destruction. Not all of them, but majority of them. The few little solid and solid brothers and sisters in America, I mean, they're overwhelmed by these self-hating people. There is nothing you can do to try to unite the community. You have to find three, four black men or black women come out against it. Against it. Look at um, the brother there. What's his name? Whoa, where, am I, where, where I keep getting these, got these people name? I think it's Ice Cube. Yeah, Ice Cube. Draft up a, um, a contract for black American. Look what they do to Ice Cube. Ice Cube have to take care of himself because Ice Cube choose to talk to Donald Trump to the next party. And Democrats don't do nothing for black people. Under, the, under Joe Biden, these things still happen. Black people get killed left, right and center. Suppose, suppose the other police officer, officer wasn't there with, with his body camera. What do you think would happen to this case? Because when I heard, listen to the, the parents, they said that it's a, it's a suicide something. Yes. So, when you see these things that happen to black American people, you feel sad, but guys, it's just another day. Because it's going to keep happening over and over and over again. And the only way this can stop, and I don't see it stopping, because it's getting worse. I don't know if it, it used to worse before, but watching it on the internet, all black people come against each other, black American people. Black people in, in general, no, but black American people, they seems like they're leading the chart. They don't unite on anything. All right. You see, like, oh, Ryan Garcia cheated Devon Any, and you see black people come out and defending Ryan Garcia. You know that, what the guy name? A, a sprinter in America. A bar is in, bar is in name? He, he have a record for the 200 meter. I done a reaction video on him there a couple of days ago. And he's dating a, a Jamaican girl. And the Jamaican girl, you know, tell him certain things. And he come back and spill it out on um, and some interview he was doing. And guys, just type in, Jamaican, give it to him. When I say give it to him, I mean give it to him. One thing, you know, don't mess with our athletes, you know. We in Jamaica, you don't mess with our athletes. You think you can't say anything bad about Usain Bolt? You think you can't say anything bad about Asava Powell, Shelley and Fraser? You think you could dare you speak about the, our athletes? The way how I see these black people come against their own. These people give Ryan Garcia a pass. Call them N-word. Say it's the KKK. That police officer is the KKK. Ryan Garcia says the KKK. Hey, so much black people run to Ryan Garcia defense. Kid Astin Daddy, Sean Porter, Coach Prime, Stephen A. Smith. You name it. These people run to Ryan Garcia rescue. Saying Ryan Garcia is no racist and blah, 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 and this and that. If Ryan Garcia did ever say anything bad about these. Jews, the Holocaust. Ryan Garcia wouldn't be an, an, an ex right now. And Ryan Garcia said all those things about black people. And he's still an ex. And you still have Shakira Stevenson. You still have Kisha and the clown Davis. Joining stream with Ryan Garcia. Joining us live stream with Ryan Garcia still in them. 
how these people can look at black people and respect them if we don't respect ourselves if we don't respect ourselves or oh, anybody else are gonna respect us you know that even black people outside of america don't respect black american people i'm telling you guys black people don't respect black american people they don't want to associate themselves with black american people black people that outside of the country and they are black just like black american people the way all black american people react but they always have it to say that when these black immigrants come to their country they take the white man's side they don't really take the white man's side they just stay by themselves because if you guys do do each other like that what you will do a stranger like a black immigrant just think about that for a minute and i'm just being frank with you guys and i love my brothers and sisters because i am pro-black but the way you guys act in america you allow other black people to stay away from you you allow i mean you guys don't have no allied not even black people don't have your back Africa have the most black people on this planet. You ever see Africa leaders them come out and say they're gonna sanction America because they kill another brothers or sister innocently? You ever see you ever see Africa do that before? Sanction America? Say they're gonna cut certain things off from them? No, because nobody respects black America, black American. And and if black American don't wake up and smell the coffee and start to love each other and work together because nobody have your guys nobody have you back your back you know nobody at all have your back i promise you that the only person that have your back is yourself you see if a black immigrant come to your country and i know this for a fact guys when a black immigrant come to america if, the, if you if you well qualify than that black immigrant and the both of you go into that interview room i can bet my youtube channel the black immigrant gonna get that job over you i'm telling you guys <laughs> i'm telling you even the boss them in the workplace talk down on black american to black people to black immigrant I know that for a fact. They, they, they always trying to say, oh, you guys are different from these black American people. And you have most of these cool ones that don't know better. When they hear those things, they don't even take it as an insult. Because they want the job and the money is good compared to where they're coming from. They don't mind sitting around and shit on their black American brothers and sisters with their, with their boss and their supervisor. I'm telling it to you guys. I'm telling you, that's what's happened. So you guys don't have no allied, whether in your country or out of your country. If you don't start to come together and unite and this small little detail that people speak down on your race if you don't come out in full force entertainer artist musician for your black you need to condemn it and beat it right out of the bud before it blossom into something big because just the other day ryan garcia says a kkk and you see what that kkk police officer did do to that young sister right there just the other day ryan garcia daddy racist father called a black man a, a nappy head just the other day and a couple weeks after that the son come out and say he hate black people he's anti-black people and he's the kkk and he this and he's that because we never beat it in the board when ryan garcia daddy called bill any a, a nappy head we laugh because we hate ourselves so much we laugh hey 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 i'll kkk when him kqkc hey he made nappy for you he made nappy for you he want to be dan king he made nappy for you <laughs> Finan international. The two of them across each other. That's what's happening. When you make this small thing, there is no way Ryan Garcia daddy could sit beside two Jamaican and, and disrespect another Jamaican and he don't get a slap in his face. No way. When you hear a Mexican call a black man nappy head, he's a stone cold races 
And Ryan Garcia proved that. It is what it is, guys. Thank you for watching.